If your vehicle is equipped with the hands-free active driving assist system, it will use sensors and cameras to analyze the road and vehicles around you to help keep you centered in your lane and keep your distance from the vehicle ahead. If your vehicle has the steering wheel mounted camera, it has the hands-free option. The steering wheel mounted camera monitors driver attentiveness. The hands-free ADA system has two operating modes, hands-on mode and a hands-free mode. While driving, the system will switch between modes depending on the driving environment. Regardless of the mode, you must pay attention to the driving task at hand. To enable active driving assist while driving, push the on-off button on the right side of the steering wheel. If adaptive cruise control was previously disabled, it will be enabled along with the active driving assist. Push and release the set plus or set minus button when the desired speed is reached to engage ACC. If adaptive cruise control was active before enabling the active driving assist, ACC will remain active with the previously set speed and distance settings. When all necessary conditions are met, ADA will automatically engage lane centering and the steering wheel icon in the instrument cluster display will change from white to green. ADA system status and warnings are shown in the cluster regardless of which page you're viewing. There are also system indication lights around the cluster. If equipped, you can also view ADA status in the head-up display by selecting the Advanced View in HUD settings. If the conditions for the hands-free mode are met, the system will automatically enter it if the driver's hands are on the wheel and their eyes are on the road. Otherwise, the system will attempt to enter hands-on mode. Navigate to the Driver Assist page on the cluster to see the ADA status message, which provides information on why the feature is not available, such as the road not being supported or the vehicle not detecting lane lines. A variety of conditions must be met to engage hands-on mode. See your owner's manual for more information. To engage hands-free mode, additional requirements must be met. The hands-free active driving assist system requires that you are driving on a supported highway, along with an active subscription through the Uconnect Connected Services package. This requires a continuous, reliable cell connection to the cloud and an open sky GPS connection. An unstable connection may result in feature availability being reduced. In hands-free mode, you can keep your hands on or off the wheel. But if the system detects steering input, it switches to hands-on mode. While the driver is steering, the system remains active, but reduces its assist to allow for easier maneuvering. Full assist will resume a few seconds after the driver stops steering. And if the proper conditions are met, the system will return to hands-free mode as well. The only indication of co-steering is the steering wheel's resistance. When ADA is in hands-free mode, activating the turn signal requests an assisted lane change while staying in hands-free mode. Sensors, including blind spot sensors and map data, check if a lane change is possible. A dashed green lane line graphic indicates availability. If the turn signal is activated and a lane change is available, the system will start the lane change, showing a green lane change arrow until complete. If a lane change isn't available, a yellow lane change arrow graphic will appear while the system continues to search for an acceptable time to change lanes. Some vehicles may be configured to speed up or slow down if a gap is detected, but not immediately available. In these cases, you'll see the message, searching for an opening, in addition to the yellow arrow. To cancel the lane change, activate the turn signal in the opposite direction, or override the system with the steering wheel, brake pedal, or off button there are a number of instances where assisted lane change may not be available. While operating in hands-free mode, the ADA system can slow down when approaching tight curves. This is indicated by an orange arrow icon, replacing the ACC target vehicle. If the driver overrides the accelerator pedal during predictive curve speed control, the system may request driver steering takeover. The ADA system can also bring your vehicle to a stop while following the vehicle ahead such as in a traffic jam. The system can automatically resume driving without driver input when the vehicle's path in front of it is clear if the driver remains looking forward at the road. If the system detects that the driver is not attentive, either with hands on the wheel in hands-on mode or eyes on the road in hands-free mode, it will provide a series of escalating warnings using the cluster, audio system, and seat vibration until the driver returns their attention or takes control of the vehicle. If the system requests driver takeover and the driver does not respond to the warnings, the system will begin a stop-in-lane maneuver, which brings the vehicle to a standstill in the current lane 
and attempts to place an emergency call through the Assist and SOS system. You can override this maneuver by returning attention to the road, placing your hands on the steering wheel, and pressing the gas or brake pedal. It's best to keep the system off when driving in more challenging situations like heavy traffic, construction zones, bad weather, or on poorly maintained roads. Remember, the Active Driving Assist system does not warn or prevent collisions or steer around stopped or slower vehicles. Always keep your eyes on the road, maintain a safe distance from other vehicles, and pay attention to traffic conditions. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.